Hey, are you feeling a little bit discouraged or frustrated with Shopify? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you uh, my whole journey so far. And the purpose of this video is to give you some motivation and encouragement. Um, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be showing you my ads manager, uh, my store like dashboard, and also I'm gonna show you my profits. And I'm gonna be revealing almost everything like besides my product. So make sure to watch the whole video till the end. So I recently scaled to 2.5K per day in the last like two weeks. Uh, but before showing you how I scaled to 2.5K, um, I'm gonna show you my whole, whole journey. So let's go to the Shopify dashboard and I'm gonna show you like some stats and I'm gonna talk about the journey, like the ups and downs. All right, we're in my Shopify dashboard. So yeah, like uh, like I showed you in the first video, um, I think I started around like 8th or 9th of May. So yeah, I think that's like five months ago. And yeah, I'm gonna show you like month by month and talk about like the month, like I'm gonna give you like a summary of the month. So yeah, let's go to, let's go to, let's show you just like the May. So how it looked like. So yeah, guys. Um, so in May, uh, I started like on the 8th or 9th. And I think you can like see my, my video, like um, I talked about the journey. But this is like when I started running uh, my store. And I was, uh, I was, I, I, I had some coaching and stuff like that to kind of like jumpstart my journey. Uh, I also had some courses, uh, but they're just kind of like hit and miss. So yeah, the the coachings and stuff like really helped me. And this was like the first month of doing, yeah. And this was like doing like worldwide and stuff like that. Yeah. So let's go, let's go to the next month. Um, okay. So now we're on June. Um, so like I said before, uh, I've failed so many times, guys. And the biggest reason for my failure was just that I was, uh, that I gave up. But this time I really like, you know, stuck to it and took action. So what I, what I want you to guys to do is just like start learning plus applying. You just gotta take a lot of action and apply what you learn. And during this month, that is exactly what I did. Um, I think I talked about the coaching with Mike, uh, which was, uh, for me, it was revolutionary uh, because I started, I, I stopped for, like I, I learned so much, you know, like about Facebook ads and just uh, fulfillment and scaling and everything. So during this time, um, during this time, you know, as you can see, like uh, I scaled to like 1K, you know, and I think that was like probably like within the first month of doing Shopify or something like that, yeah. And then to 2K, you know, and then, uh, then it was like kind of like my products started to die. And yeah, I'm gonna tell you like the two products. Uh, one was like kind of niche. Um, the second, uh, the second was uh, like more general. Uh, but what what was interesting was like most of the sales were from Instagram. I think like 85% were from Instagram feed. So that has worked at the time very very well for me. Um, so yeah, like I was, um, you know, like. Um, so let's go back and I'm going to tell you like how many, how many products I tested. So during the May, I think I tested like two products. The first one was a complete failure. And then the second one was the winner. And I think in the June, uh, I found the second kind of winner. So like all the revenue you can see here during the June, uh, during June was like from two products. Um, yeah, so I tested only three products and I had like two products that were selling really, really well, you know, so I kind of didn't understand the, um, the importance of like testing new products all the time and being consistent with testing new products. So, uh, my products started to die. Like, as you can see, like, um, it died during like, I don't know, a week or something like that. It just went completely, you know, and here was like a, my, my failed attempt to like, to revive it but as you can see like no and during the time um i stopped i kind of like lost all motivation i don't know maybe it was like a depression or something because um i was sleeping like 12 hours at night and then during the day i was also sleeping like two to three hours so i was sleeping like you know like 12 to 15 hours per day like i had no energy 
So during that time, I didn't really do anything. And that was the reason why I took a break from YouTube because I wasn't really doing Shopify and I didn't really have like any energy to do anything. Okay, so going into August. So in August, uh, like at the end of the August, uh, I graduated from university. Finally, I finally graduated. It took me six years, you know, I'm not really proud of it. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing that it took me so long. But yeah, like during this time, I wasn't also like testing that many products. As you can see, like no, like nope. I was testing like some products and they just weren't working, you know. So I was still like very like, uh, I was not motivated, you know, like uh, I was kind of, you know, stuck. Okay, so during September, so during the September, um, it was kind of like the same, it was kind of like the same story, you know. I was testing products, I was struggling, you know, I was very like unmotivated to work. Uh, but still, you know, I, I just tried, I tried, I, I said like, man, like I can't give up, you know, I gotta keep pushing, you know. So I started testing more products. Uh, okay, so now to the interesting part. I'm gonna show you uh, how I scaled from zero to 2.5K in, I don't know, like two weeks or something like that. So the 22nd, uh, the 27th uh, was the day I started testing this product and yeah let's go to um, let's go to ads manager yeah so let's go to ads manager and yeah now we are at 27th to yeah so as you can see like the ads manager isn't very accurate you know like they're still missing like three hundred dollars or something like that and the ad spend so the ad spend was 3,000, yeah, so $3,300, and this was the revenue. Um, yeah, so let's go to order metrics, and I'm gonna show you something interesting. You know, I'm gonna show you like the, the daily profits, the daily ad spend, so you can see like some interesting things um, that I've learned so far. Now I wanna show you uh, like, how, like my journey, like with scaling this product, and like with testing and scaling this product. So the 27th of September, was the day I started this product. I started testing it. And like right out, like the first day was like very good. And I think there were like two, I was testing like two products. So guys, keep in mind, like during those two weeks, I was testing like, I think like four products or something, uh, but now I have only one product running. So th like, I think this first day I had two products I was testing. And yeah, like the results, I was very surprised, you know, like, uh, like the first day of testing, I was like getting 21% profit, you know, that was pretty good. Um, so the next day, I think I decided to increase the ad spend. Yeah, so I increased it by $100. And that day, like, I was like, I, I lost money. So yeah, I was like, I'm not sure, you know, if, if it's a winner, but I thought like, I see like a potential in it. So I just kept, I just kept going. So the third day on day three, so we can see uh, kind of lowered the ad spend a little bit, um, tested some new ad sets, you know, turned off some and just $1 profit. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, so day four. Okay, so day four, uh, I also increased the ad spend as you can see, and, but I lost quite a lot of money, like um, like 55% uh, in the negative, but that's still fine. Um, I think like it was like kind of like uh, adding consistency, like my conversion rate like really dropped. Okay, so let's go to the next day. I think it's day five or something. Uh, yeah, day five. Okay, so this day I will kind of like, I try, uh, I try to like lower the ad spend as you can see, but I was still losing money. So at that point I was thinking, man, maybe this product isn't a winner. Um, but but uh, yeah, I just uh, I just tried uh, I just pushed again, increased the ad spend you know by fifty percent to two hundred dollars, uh, but it started to get better as you can see here. So yeah, like with finding your winners, I thought it's gonna be like, like you lose money like for the first week and then you start making money, or you start making money right away. But the thing is, like with dropshipping, it's not linear. It's like up and down. So, you know, like uh, there is no, there is no like cookie cutter. There is no like one way that everything happens, you know. So 
even like with advice on Shopify dropshipping, not all advice works. Like what works for somebody uh, does, doesn't mean that it, work, it will work for you. So you just have to test what works for you, you know? Um, and that's what I'm kind of doing here. Uh, so as you can see, like the next day, I was still losing money. And now it's been like a week or something, you know, since I launched it. And it's still kind of like up and down and up and down. Uh, but yeah, after like, I think this is like day seven, like finally, uh, it started to perform a little bit, you know, like 14% margin. Um, yeah, so let's go to like day eight or something like that. So this day, um, this day, like, you know, uh, my conversion rate dropped like a lot. I think it was like 5% or 6%, um, like the day before, and then it dropped by 50%. And, you know, as you can see, like the profit also dropped. So the, the lesson here is like, guys, you got to really try to optimize your, your store, your product page. And as you can see, like it really affects uh, profitability, you know, so try to optimize it. Uh, maybe I'm going to make a video uh, on it if you guys are interested, but let's go to the next day. So now it has been like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is day 10. Okay, so day 10. So yeah, so let's go. So my ad spend didn't really change. Uh, but as you can see, like, the conversion rate really increased and that led to a lot of like profit, you know. And I think it was just like ad incons inconsistency. That's why like my conversion suddenly dropped like by so much. So you're, you're going to experience that as well. Um, yeah, so this is like the seventh. I think on the seventh, I, I launched, uh, I launched like 30 ad sets of lookalikes, you know, like, um, because like, uh, okay. So like here on, on Saturday, I launched uh, VC lookalikes and that really helped, you know, as you can see, like view content lookalikes and like my revenue just went up a lot. Like it went from like 500 to one thousand um, dollars. Then the next day, uh, yeah, uh, we are at okay. So here, this day I launched like thirty ad sets of uh, video view lookalikes. I completely forgot about them, so I launched those, and yeah, like prof, like the the margin was like 19 percent. Um, yeah. And yesterday, uh, yesterday was my best day so far. And it was 2.5, uh, 2.5 K yeah, $2,500, but the margin was like really good. It was like 29%, you know, profit was $700 and let's, let's look at today. So, so today, uh, I think we're through like the half of the day. So half of the day has, uh, has, you know, of the, of the ad spend, you know, so it's half of the day. And so far we are at one point. 8k so maybe we'll end at 3k i think probably around around 3k maybe a little bit more but what you're seeing right now uh like the 2.5k and today uh it is just um it is just cold interests um uh, view content lookalikes a uh, video view lookalikes um there is no there's no retargeting there is no uh, lookalikes for add to card and purchase and that's because I made a huge mistake. Um, I started using like this app called Pixel Magic. Uh, with that app, you can have two pixels. Uh, I wanted to have like a backup, uh, but yeah, like uh, the Pixel Magic, like the pixel from from them from the app, uh, it it's not working for my store. Like uh, I can't I can't really do like I can't really create like custom audiences for add to cart. Uh, I can't do retargeting, you know, because uh, I'm doing uh, DPA, dynamic product ads. Uh, I'm doing like DPA ads, uh, but it's not working because of that. So as you can see, this is now like all without those lookalikes, without retargeting. And I'm getting like 25% margin, you know, like 20 to 30, let's say. And this is all without retargeting and without those, the best lookalikes, you know. So if, if I would have that, it would be probably way, way better. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, so 
yeah i i hope this this was useful like this is like proof if you guys like maybe don't believe me or something uh you can see like the ad spend was three thousand uh, that's it you know um as you can see you know i was struggling for i don't know like two or three months you know like i was doing like no revenue and i was like very discouraged you know uh but during that time i tested like 13 to 15 products and i found one that was really like a winner so the thing is guys um you're kind of you're kind of like one product away from changing your life so really just keep going um like don't give up and just work hard every day you know um like if you if you want to quit your job or if you want to drop out of school uh, which i kind of don't recommend but yeah like if you want to change your life um just like drop shipping is not the best business model uh but for people like uh for for people who want to be like independent and like, travel you know or create something from nothing you know uh like drop shipping is still pretty good guys so yeah like don't don't watch those videos like like that drop shipping is dead um it's not dead it's just become it's just became a little bit more challenging so you just need to learn how to be a better marketer you just need to learn how to increase your conversion rate how to increase your average order value and how to create really good like uh, ads as well like ad creatives you just gotta learn a little bit more you know uh but it's still it's still totally possible and uh i'm gonna be i'm gonna be showing you like uh, i'm gonna give you some updates on like how i'm doing with scaling i hope this was helpful for you um if you're struggling um just just keep going man just just keep pushing just keep learning and keep applying you know like what you learn just just take a lot of action um like i have failed i think like 10 businesses like i said in the beginning of my channel and it was because i just gave up like i got frustrated you know i stopped hustling i stopped learning i, I stopped taking action and yeah like if you if you want to succeed um you just gotta keep taking action and keep trying um if like if you know a friend that's struggling with shopify um make sure to share this video with them and yeah uh let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see like more educational more motivational or yeah just let me know like uh, what you guys want me to to cover thanks so much for watching my my journey um make sure to subscribe and see you in the next video